All right, so let's do uh, let's do an email here. So it says, "Hi, what would you say is the central thesis of your Guerrero book?" Are you saying we are all, as humans, inherently bisexual? Well, the central thesis is that masculine uh, can love masculine and that there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, with, with gay toleration and, well, gay tolerance, you see that it's being accepted that, uh, that, that it's okay to be gay. But as I argue in Chapter 3, gay is a lot more than just sexuality. It's, about, um, it's also about femininity. And if the science is to believe, uh, gay is also about femininity. And I think that's one of the reasons that a lot of masculine men are not attracted towards same-sex relationships is because they realize that they're not feminine. Now, as, as far as inherent bisexuality, I think that's a secondary sort of thesis. I think we could also say that ma not just masculine uh, can love masculine, but masculine can love feminine as well, regardless of, of genitalia. So you could have masculine men who like feminine men. Um, so you could say that would be a secondary thesis, and I suppose if anybody wanted to do uh, studies on women and, and to figure out whether they're sexually flexible as well, they could do that. I, I suppose that's the case. I, I haven't, uh, that's not the, uh, I haven't focused on women with Guerrero, so um, I don't have any evidence for that per se, but that, that could be a possibility. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and that the repression of bisexuality in our modern civilization is leading to a slew of problems that could be resolved if we got rid of the idea of completely heterosexual humans and separating masculinity from sexual orientation. Uh, I, I would not say that sexual flexibility is an answer or cure-all to modern problems. Uh, the Romans were sexually flexible, as I've argued, and so were the Greeks, and they were kind of, pretty, they were still sort of pretty messed up. Lots of wars, lots of uh, fighting. However, I think that the dishonesty in our current culture that's behind exclusive heterosexuality, the kind of lying and all that, is behind a lot of other problems, but that's another story for another day. So it's kind of tangentially related, but sexual flexibility itself is not uh, the answer, I don't think. As a straight male, continuing with the email, I know, uh, as a straight male, I know you disagree with this term, but I'm most closely identified to liking women. Although I suppose I could have sex with a man if I really wanted to, although I don't, which is probably just societal conditioning. But I don't understand why straight boys growing up tease each other about being gay as an insult. Are they all just insecure that they are not 100% heterosexual and that that conflicts with what society tells them uh, they should be? I've always wondered about that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's absolutely correct. Uh, in Chapter 3, I mention a study that says that shows that most homophobes have same-sex uh, same sex attractions. Now, the point of the study that I found is if you add it all up, it shows that it, you can extrapolate that it, it's in fact most men who have, who get erections to gay porn, but homophobes even more so, homophobic straight men even more so. And this is just a, a basic, uh, in psychology 101, it's just the basic uh, reaction formation. So you have something that you're ashamed of because culture tells you to be ashamed of. So you exaggerate that you're not you're not that and you're the, the exact opposite of it. So there's a couple examples. It's not it has nothing to it's not just homophobia. Uh, but if you look at something like Hitler, someone like Hitler, his his uh, paternal I don't know one of his grandfathers could have been Jewish. Now I don't know if recently they found out that he wasn't or he was. Uh, but the point is there was a bit of ambiguity when he was alive as to whether one of his grandparents were Jewish. So you would think that a person like that would say, "Well, you know, uh, we'll err on the side of caution." And even if everybody hates the Jews, I'm not going to hate the Jews because that's bad. That's going to you know go against me. But in fact, as we saw, Hitler went completely the opposite way. Uh, you see this with chicken hawks, people who. Um, who want war, but they've never been to war themselves. So all the uh, the the, um, the people on the talk shows, you know, you find out that they love promoting war, but they've never been to war. Uh, last example would be Strom Thurmond. He was a senator, and in 1948, he ran on a campaign of, of continuing segregation. He was a very racist uh, individual. Now, you have to know that by that time, Strom Thurmond had... Uh, had a 20-year-old black daughter. He had sex with a, a black woman. Uh, well, actually, 20 years before, he had sex with a, a... I think she was 15 or 14. He was in his 20s, so it would be statutory rape as well. But the point is he had sex with a, a black girl, 
And then that daughter was about 20 when he was running for president on a pro-racist uh, campaign. And he knew about it because he kept sending him checks. Same thing, same thing there. Uh, so the guy also wrote me another email uh, continuing... Furthermore, how is wanting to have anal sex with a woman any different from wanting to have anal sex with a man? A straight porn is nowadays more and more focusing on anal sex. I like the idea of anal sex with a woman and find it very sexy. Doesn't anal sex with a man seem like the same thing to some degree? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, a hole is a hole, so... I've always wondered why gay men wouldn't want to have, sex, uh, wouldn't want to have anal sex with a woman. They have better asses anyways. From my perspective, uh, well, actually, let me answer that. So, yeah, I, the question of why a gay guys don't have sex with a woman, I've asked that in previous videos, but, yeah, this is a, sort of a good point, is if you're going to have anal sex and you're a top, well, okay, you could have sex with a man, you could have sex with a woman. Um, and, and the other thing is, well, a lot of gay guys want to be fucked, uh, and what, what I've heard from, from a lot of guys is that it's more than just the whole. They they want the full package. They want another man. They want uh, you know all the the masculine exterior features. Uh, so that could explain that. But it still is sort of like yeah, a whole is a whole. So you know, uh, it's not it's not like when gay men aren't around other gay men. You know, it's like well, all right, I'll have sex with a woman, but why not? Uh, so let's see here. And we're inside the magic of filmmaking. From my perspective, I don't have much luck with women and feel very isolated sometimes, so I resort to porn and like, again, I'm reading an email, so yeah. Uh, uh, feel very isolated sometimes, so I resort to porn and I have become a porn addict. The straight lesbian porn doesn't do much for me anymore, so I look at gay porn. I don't like penis and I'm disgusted whenever I see it, but I don't mind watching anal sex because I figure an ass is an ass. And if I was really, really horny and desperate and wanted to have sex, I wouldn't be opposed to sticking my dick in a guy's ass. Partly, when I get desperate, it turns me on to know that gay men are much easier to have sex with than women. Does that make me someone bisexual? I don't think it would. It is mostly out of desperation and extreme horniness. For example, I would fuck my bed if I had a hole in it, if you get my meaning. I'm just wondering how wanting to fuck a woman, anal, is any different from wanting to do uh, the same with a man. Keep in mind that I also love vagina. So anyways, uh, well, let's start with the uh, bisexual question. So, I mean, I've read, uh, if you just search Guerrero, uh, go to the front page and just search for it. Uh, I think I put in there somewhere that I, I'm really not a big fan. Oh, I have an entire subchapter on it, right? Uh, I don't like the word bisexual. It's very clinical. Uh, I mean, as you say, you don't really care uh, whether an ass is, um, whether there's, penis dangling out in front or there's a vagina with regards to an ass. Well, okay, that technically would make you a bisexual if you were to act on those feelings. But that, that shows that bisexuality really means so many things, and it means nothing all at once. It, it just means, you know, there's a penis there and there's a vagina there. But the whole point is you don't care. Um, now, in, in terms of a relationship, uh, you know, gay men are much easier to have sex with than women. Uh, not, not that I should be giving any any uh, advice whatsoever on relationships, but if you ever want to have a relationship in the future that's more you know long lasting, um, trying try, getting people who are just um, you know easier to have sex with, that's perhaps not going to fix those problems. So if you're saying that you're shy and you're saying that um, you know all those sort of issues. That's, I don't think it's going to help to just have sex with the easiest people you can have. Uh, and, you know, a therapist or, or somebody to talk with might be, you know, might be a good person to uh, hash these things out with in, in, in greater detail. So uh, that's that. Thanks for the email. And any questions, uh, feel free to leave comments or send me more email. Thanks.